Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, Happy New Year to everyone out there. I hope you guys have the healthiest, most positive, amazing year. Can we believe we're in 2019? Like what? I feel like this year came by so quick. I didn't feel Christmas. I didn't feel New Year's. New Year's was yesterday and it felt like nothing. I don't know why this year was so non-festive I feel for me. But since we are in 2019, I want to roll back to the year of 2018 and tell you guys the products that I loved and that I didn't like too much. I'm excited. This is my first time doing a video like this. So if you didn't already know, I upload every single week, every single week, every single week. We have a video every single week. Hey, hey. With that said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every single week. Now, before I start this video, I feel like this year I pushed myself in the middle of the year to really focus on my channel because this is like my baby. I am so passionate about what I do and I love just expressing myself in front of the camera and teaching you guys a trick or two. I just love doing what I do every single week. And I would just wanna thank you guys out there watching me and supporting me, my fans, my subscribers. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. And I hope to quadruple you guys in 2019 since I'm going into this year strong and ready every single week man i've been doing this for like a couple months now and i see that not only do i love it i love making videos you guys one of my favorite things to do but i also see that you guys love it and i'm getting more people to watch me and just have fun with me with that said Let's go ahead and dive right in. So I kind of want to start off doing this video like how I would do my makeup. So I would start off with my brows first. For brows, this has been my holy grail like forever. This is my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number 5. Um, I love this thing so much. I feel like you can go super natural with it or you can do a super bold look. It goes either way. This is gonna be like maybe a shocker for you guys out there, but I haven't touched my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in a minute. It's not that it's a bad product, but I feel like now we're so into like natural brows and the whole like filled in brows are not a trend anymore. So I just haven't touched this puppy in forever. I'm not saying it's a bad product, but I just don't use it anymore. I stick to the pencil or the Anastasia powder, which you could see right here. I used once in forever today. I don't know why. I thought it was super spontaneous today and started whipping out products that I never even used. And I kind of came up with something different. Side note, half of the things that I love, I don't even have because I used it so much. So I had to turn to other products, which I will let you guys know a little bit later. Next up primer for the eyes as i said i've been using my favorite products like all the time i literally am on such low stock right now i don't have my favorite mac soft ochre paint pot okay i know so instead i used one of my favorite concealers which i will go into which worked great but something that i don't like this might be an uncommon opinion you guys i don't like the benefits stay don't stray because this creases on me like i will put on the shadow and throughout the day i will see like creasing going on i'm like wait that's not supposed to happen so this is not too i'm not too much of a fan of this one i love benefit their products are amazing but this primer just doesn't work out for my eyelids next up palettes now i don't really play around with palettes too much and what i mean by that is i will buy something like knowing it's good sometimes i buy things that aren't good like lip glosses or stuff like that but palettes i'm pretty like spot on so these two palettes i love and i live for these palettes they are my holy grails one of them is my kylie summer palette i use this so much as you guys can tell it's just such a staple it has such a variety of colors and you guys are like wait where 
but for real it looks like this on the pan but when you actually put it on your lid it's like completely different they look super similar but they're really not trust me i made so many looks with this one palette it's crazy and i use it from summer all the way to winter and another palette which is super new but i gave it a try i reviewed it on my channel if you guys haven't already watched my reviews on my kylie summer palette and this morphe james charles palette i will go ahead and link that down below this one is another one of my favorites i'm wearing this right now i just mixed up a couple shades and it came out so pretty it's a very colorful palette and I can make so many looks with this one palette. You could go super neutral, you could go super red, super colorful. You could do anything with this palette. And I feel like this palette pushed my artistry more because I was so used to blending colors, but this formula is more of a uh, pressed pigment. So you would have to pat on the shadow and then blend it out which was new to me which i love a challenge so with that said this kind of pushed me out of my bubble and i actually loved how you use that technique pack it and then blend it i loved it now brushes now as you guys know morphe brushes are literally 90 percent of what i use when i do my makeup and these three brushes are my favorite i use them in almost every single look and i can just use these three and be done like i don't have to go through a million different brushes to complete a look this is my number one you guys i love this brush so much it's the e27 this is my baby i bought this brush so long ago like years ago and i still use it i love morphe brushes they're super inexpensive and they work great they get the job done so i love this baby this is my e27 another one of my favorites is my m441 this is so good for blending out shadows and also packing them on and then blending this one does like a couple different tricks and then another brush that i haven't used as often as the previous two but when i do use it i'm like why haven't i used this brush like a year ago this thing does tricks okay this is the m433 brush i use this brush to pack on colors and like blend it into the crease and it gives such a beautiful like gradual blend it's perfect for black shadows like you can tell none of these are washed because i literally just use them but i love using this brush for like black shadows on the outer corner and then blending it into the crease without looking like a raccoon so this one does a good job oh and another one of my favorite like face brushes is my m501 this is perfect for highlighter i pick it up and i could just totally focus on the pinpoints of my face but this one really lets you be super detailed with where you want to place the highlighter so this is another staple to my collection i don't have any bad brushes because um i only use morphe pretty much and i love them all so next okay this is one of my favorite things let's say it's not a makeup day and i'm super bare face i still use this because i have to if you guys don't know my lashes are literally on another planet they're straight so i have to curl them all the time and not every mascara um likes my lash if that makes sense like some mascaras are super heavy and my lashes go from curled to straight so this one helps me a lot this is the tweezer man um curler i don't i don't know the actual name of it but it looks like this and not a lot of curlers curl my lashes they're a freaking issue i've used so many different lash curlers and they don't do the job tweezer man this one does a great job Alrighty, mascara i love lc lashful mascara i think that this gives a lot of volume and length to your lashes and this one is one of the mascaras that my lash loves it keeps it curled um the formula isn't that heavy it's not heavy at all actually because if it was my lashes would be like nope going back straight the only complaint i have is um like at the end of the night you'll see like crumbles of the mascara kind of like where you would add your concealer um i don't know what that's from maybe 
I don't know, dryness or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But I know a couple people that have complained about that. That's the only complaint I have about it, but it's not like a big deal. But other than that, this one's a good one. Lashes. You guys know that I love me some Lily lashes. I use this style Doha all the time because it's very like drama but subtle. Like you can see the eyeshadow work but still be like, mm, look at me. You know what I mean? Another one of my favorites is of course Miami and so extra Miami. This one is super va va voom. Like you put on those lashes and you turn into a different person, I swear. Doha, Miami, and so extra Miami. Those are like my top three. One lash that I didn't like too much by Lily Lashes is Carmel or Carmel or Carmel. I don't know. These lashes, super va va voom, but the ends I feel like are so concentrated and there's so many hairs. I don't know, it just, it doesn't fit well with my eye shape. So I have only worn this like once and I feel like it's just too much for my eye. So this one is a no-go. I love Lily lashes, but this one just doesn't work for my eye shape. Another one of my favorites is the, I don't have the label, but it's the Ardell 110 Lash. This one is super natural, like very basic natural. If you're doing like an everyday look and you wanna put lashes on, you could pop these babies on. What I did today is I put two on top of each other and got such a beautiful, like thick lash, but still subtle and natural. You know what I mean? It's not like boom, out there I have lashes. It's like I have lashes and I'm cute and seductive and just looking like a snack. That's one thing that I love doing, stacking two lashes on top of each other. Some people are like, I can't even put one on. How do you put two on? I'm like, girl, if you get one of them on, it's super easy to put the second one on. It just pff, sticks on, I swear. Face primer, I love my Benefit Professional. This is so velvety, smooth. Even the touch of it is just like, oof. When you blend it out with your finger, it just feels so good. Like, not even talking about the performance of the product, it just feels so good on your skin. But yes, it does cover up all your pores. I have so many pores, like, in this region right here and I love just like poking at them and touching them and this one does a really good job to cover them up. Another one of my favorites that I don't have right now because I'm low on stock, I love my Smashbox Primerizer. It's a primer and moisturizer mixed into one. I feel like that's so nice on my skin. A primer that I'm like eh about is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, I feel like this does the job but sometimes it gives off like a weird smell. Like it's super nourishing and it does the job, but the smell kind of like gets to me. I don't know if it's like been sitting out for a while or that's the smell. Um, the last like couple of times, not even a couple of times, like the last couple of months I've been using it, it's been smelling weird. So I don't know if that's the product because I literally don't remember. <laughs> or if it's been sitting there and I haven't been using it, so therefore it smells like that. I don't know. It does the job great, but the smell is kind of weird. That's my only complaint. Alrighty, foundations. My number one foundation, this is like so good. I go by this so hard. It's the Lancome. I don't even want to pronounce it because I know I'm going to mess it up. The Tint, the Tint, uh, Dole Ultra 24 hour makeup, whatever. I'm 320W, yeah, 320W. This is a super full coverage foundation. So if you're looking for like everyday foundation, I would recommend my LC foundation. This one is super light. You could build it up, but it doesn't get as full coverage as Lancome in my opinion. This one, you could still kind of see your skin underneath it, which is like great if you want to use it as an everyday foundation. But the Lancome is definitely my favorite. And to blend out my foundation, I used this like a couple hours ago, don't judge. This is my LC Velvet Sponge. I've like punctured it with my nails so bad. Can you guys see that? Oh my god, my poor spongy. This one's really nice because I use this end to blend out my face and then I use the pointed end to blend out my 
concealer and then I use the other side of the pointed to set my concealer. So this one does like so many different tricks in one and I love it. It's so convenient and I've had this for such a long time. I know people that change sponges or beauty blenders like once a month. I've used this for like a year. <laughs> I think a year like a really long time and I clean it I take care of it so maybe that's why it lasts that long another like dupe is Real Techniques the orange one I haven't used that in such a long time because I feel like this LC one is so big and gets the job done that I'm kind of like oh the Real Techniques is small I like using Real Techniques sponge on clients but for me, I like using the LC because it's big and I know my face and I just get in every corner and it's fast. Next up, bronzers. I have been using my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette for such a long time. I've like hit almost pan. I use the bronzer side. Um, occasionally, I'll use the light side for like under my eyes and places that I want to brighten up. But I also love the LC bronzer. I feel like I've mentioned like four LC products already. This one's in the shade medium. I like to go in with my Kat Von D and kind of bronze up where it needs to be and then I go in with this one and kind of chisel it out, like deepen it up. I feel like this is more of like a deeper, rich color and the Kat Von D is kind of light. It's not light, but it's lighter than this. So I like to go in with Kat Von D and then deepen it up with LC. A bronzer that I haven't used in like forever is the Benefit Hoola bronzer. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad bronzer, but I noticed it was kind of orangey on me, but I was not as tan when I was using the bronzer. So maybe it's from that, maybe not. I haven't used it in such a long time. So that's the one product that I'm like, eh, about. I like these products more. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I just prefer these better. I'm not too big of a blush person. Um, I use this one blush. It's by Tarte. It's called Party. Um, I broke the top accidentally. I don't do this often. I'm very OCD and when this happened I almost like went into cardiac arrest like oh my god. The lid just broke off. What do I do now? But I love using this. It's such a nice pink color. I think in 2019, I should dive into more blushes. I'm not that big of a blush person, but I also want to be honest, I haven't given blushes much of a chance. So I think I might like go into blushes in 2019. We'll see. Oh my God. I just noticed I'm like all over the place. Let's go back to cream products. Before I go in with my bronzer, I love putting cream bronzer and this is the Benefit Hoola Quick Contour Stick. Um, it's such a nice color. I don't like the bronzer as much, but this stick is my go-to. It's such a nice color. It blends super easy. I used to use my Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. I just feel like it's a little bit more dry and not as pigmented as the Benefit. So that's why I switched. And this one's also like now light on me because I'm tanner. Of course, for concealer, I got my Tarte Shape Tape. This has been my holy grail. This thing does wonders and not just for under eye concealer. I use it sometimes as primers like I did today because I don't have my Mac. It's so thick and it covers up everything. If you're more of like an everyday light type of gal, it's not that it won't work out for you, but it's super thick. So you might have to go in with like one dot and like blend it all out. For everyday people, I would say to use the NARS Radiant Concealer. It's not that I don't like this product, but after using Shape Tape, you're like, okay, nothing covers up anything like Shape Tape anymore. So everything that's lighter, you're kind of like, eh. But for People, like I said, who like light makeup, NARS would work out for you. For me, it doesn't anymore because there's a step up, which is shape tape. So I just use this to maybe highlight my nose, highlight my forehead, but for under eyes, shape tape. I've used so many different liners. I've used the little pot ones. They start to dry up. That gets annoying. I just recently discovered this product and I love it. I've gotten so many compliments right after I've used it. This is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It is a pencil liquid liner. It is so 
sharp and gives off so much product at once it's so nice it's so like black so you don't have to go in a couple times on the same exact line to deepen it up no it's like one swipe you're done for highlighter of course i gotta bring out my anastasia omrezy highlighter look at this gorgeous baby right here i just noticed that i've been using this baby for such a long time and i haven't even hit pan yet like there's so much product it gives a super wet finish it's very blinding so if you're a type of person that likes more of a subtle highlighter um you can go in with this but lightly this is super blinding i love it another highlighter i love is the fenty beauty one this one i've used a lot but now that the anastasia amrezy one came out i don't go into this one too much and i feel like i'm so mean like i don't give my other products a chance like they want to be used but i'm like you're not that good anymore it's kind of sad though it's not that you're not good i just i've moved on <laughs> this is a good product but if you want a blinding highlighter i would go with the omrezy one my favorite lip liners like natural lip liners is the mac boldly bear and the nyx natural lip liner they're both great nyx is a little dry but the color is great to like put all over your lips the mac one is a nice color too but i would prefer the nyx one but the mac is creamier and you know me i'm a lip gloss type of girl i've been using this all the time any look name it this will go good with it this is the fenty beauty gloss bomb it's so nice it smells so good and i just love using it i think that's it you guys whoa that was a lot of talking a lot of products i hope you guys enjoyed this video again thank you guys so much for watching i upload every single week so don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to like share comment and of course don't forget to subscribe stay up to date with all my latest videos hit that bell so you could get notified when i upload other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye guys